file write operation guys again the first step is same to write a file into hdfs client needs to interact with the name node name node the centerpiece of my cluster name node stores the metadata name node is having complete information about complete cluster data as well as slaves so everyone have to firstly interact with the name node what name node will do guys again writing is also in parallel distributed name node will provide the address of the slave on which client will start writing the data directly on that data node now it's a little important little interesting my client won't send three copies if my replication factor is three my client will send just one copy if client sends three copies it would be overhead you can understand traffic over the network if he want to write 10 tb of data he have to send 30 tb of data no i don't want that as soon as client finishes writing the block the slave starts copying the block to another slave which in turn start copying to another slave slaves replicate the data amongst themselves client will send just one copy and suppose your application factor is 10 automatically slave will create nine more replicas in between them after the required replicas are created then it will send the acknowledgement to the client so guys authentication process is same it's similar that is same as read let's understand the same thing via end to end flow again guys the write operation the file write operation we will uh, understand in two iterations first iteration will see just the overview and in the second iteration will understand to the api level again we have a client node to write a file client need to send a create request to the name node name node again will check for the access rights whether this particular user or users have access to write on the specific path if he is having the access name node will provide the location to write the block now my client will directly go to the data node and start writing the packets there start writing the packets directly on the data node as soon as my block is written like suppose guys uh, it has written block one here the data node suppose this is data node one this is data node three this and this is data node seven the first data node will start sending the block will start copying the block to the another data node as soon as the second data node that is data node 3 has written the block this particular data node will start writing the block to the third data node that is data node 7 as soon as the required level of replication is achieved the acknowledgement will be sent like the acknowledgement will be start from the data node 7 to 3 3 to 1 and then one to final acknowledgement will go to the client now guys you will ask me who will take the decision of uh, the replication on which node all the decision is taken care by your master only so guys uh, just uh, for the simplicity of figure few lines is not drawn here like this all the name node and data nodes are in the constant communication so don't worry about uh, whether the na how name node will come to know which blocks are written on which data node they will data node will report the same let's understand the same flow client node that is having a jvm a client jvm running a jvm a java virtual machine will be running on this particular client node so guys again the first component first class come into the picture is my client my client hdfs client my class will send the request to file system api it will send a create request to file system api now my file system api will send create request to the name node now name node will provide the address of slaves go and write here go and write there my client will directly go to the data node to write how client will send a write request to output stream guys for reading we had input stream 
for writing we have output stream so here we have fs data output stream which will start writing the packets directly on the data node so guys data write pipeline would be the same what we discussed firstly the block will be copied on the first node then this particular slave will write the block to another data node that in turn write the block to another data node now the acknowledgement will go in the reverse order that is third data node will send acknowledgement to second second will send to first and then final acknowledgement will go to the client the acknowledgement the step number five that will go in the reverse way three to two two to one and then finally one to client all these data nodes are in constant communication with the name node data node will send the block information to the name node now the client who had this particular file he is writing that file on my cluster in parallel it's not like that firstly it has written block one then it will start writing block to no parallel to this particular write there is another write going on that is done like this is slave seven slave three slave two so another write is happening in parallel although write operations are always costly but it's not that much costly that uh, it will write the data in serialized order because guys uh, if it writes in the serialized order to write terabytes of data it will need days while writing if any data node goes down while writing if any data node goes down no issues name node will provide the address of another data node where the data node need to copy while writing the suppose this particular data node went down no issues again name node will provide the address of another node so guys while write or while read if any failure occurs don't worry that will taken care automatically now there is always a question that i am having this particular file who will divide this file into smaller blocks do i need to divide do client need to divide do client node need to divide who exactly will divide earlier i answered guys the framework will divide what part of framework will divide your client will divide your hdfs client your hadoop client that will divide now what is a hadoop client hadoop setup itself will act as a hadoop client you don't need to write any program you don't need to code you don't need to specify any logic to divide to split the file don't worry hdfs client hadoop client itself will divide that now how or who will be the hadoop client will my eclipse is hadoop client or will uh, my laptop is a client no the hadoop setup itself is having all the apis of the client so hadoop setup itself will act as a client who is your client you are the client will you divide no is your machine the hdfs client that will divide no who will act as the client my hdfs setup itself will be acting as a client i can specify my hdfs setup here or on the data node or at any place that itself will act as a client so guys that's it about the file write operation guys there is always a question in the certification as well as in the interview for read and write operations